Good evening everyone. This is a short video review of my recently purchased Galaxy DX979 single sideband citizen band radio. I've had a ham operator license for a few years but didn't find a lot of local traffic to interact with so I recently decided to try operating in the CB frequencies and discovered quite a number of folks in my area that I could share their airwaves with. And I did some preliminary research online, checked some of the written and video reviews out there, but I, and I wanted a CB radio with SSB, and I wanted a mobile unit that I could operate at home or in my 4 before if needed. Now for the features and the price, I settled on the Galaxy DX979. I purchased mine from Copper Electronics. I was very happy with the service there. The clerk was helpful and polite, and he didn't pressure me into getting anything more expensive than what I wanted. They're good people. I bought this refurbished unit from them. It was just over $100. I had them peek and tune it, and I added uh, this pyramid power supply right here, and also a SolarCon A99 CB base antenna. And a, and a little bit of a RX-8 mini cable to uh, connect it all together. Now the DX979 operates on the standard CB frequencies. It picks up 1 through 40 and has SSB functions, so that increases the number of channels you can operate on. Uh, I've had some good contacts with the standard uh, channels. Uh, so far I've reached out uh, as far as just over 20 miles from where I live. Uh, now the peak and tune that they did on it for me at Copper uh, appears on according to the S meter on the unit is let me get between 18 and 20 watts out uh, and it's, it seems to be working pretty well for me I haven't decided yet whether I want to get a power mic so I'm just working with what I got right now but I've been happy so far with it now uh, the A99 antenna took a little time to put up on the roof. I made it how to secure it properly, uh, make sure it's grounded right. But once that was all done, uh, hooking up the uh, CB down here in the basement was uh, easy. And what I'm going to do next is, is point out a few of the features on the unit that I, I like. Now we've got the uh, large S meter right here, which gives me a good opportunity to see uh, uh, my SWR when I'm operating. You can actually check that while you're keying the mic and it lets you check uh, how you're doing. You're supposed to have as close to one to one as possible and I'm running about one to 1 1.2 1 1.3 at worst so it's it's pretty good. I like it just fine. And that's with the antenna as it came out of the box. It was supposed to be preset for optimum and it, I haven't had any trouble. I'm getting plenty of good contacts out of it. Now the talkback function I haven't used yet that allows you to hear yourself through the speaker of the radio. I haven't really found any use for that. I might use it later on. We'll see. The clarifier, of course, when you're in a single sideband mode, uh, the clarifier allows you to tune and, and properly hear and uh, transmit to other people on SSB side single sideband. Uh, I had one contact with that a while back. They weren't very far away. I uh, haven't had a lot of experience with that yet, but I'm going to try more of that later on. Uh, the volume control and uh, squelch which works well. Uh, I'm thinking to get an external uh, speaker soon. Uh, here's a jack in the back for an external speaker, and that might uh, the speaker works fine though, but it's internal, so that's not a problem. Now the mic and RF gain. Uh, when you're using the radio, the instructions say to turn them all the way up, and I haven't heard anybody who I've spoken to tell me if I got any major feedback, so I'm going to leave those as they are for now. And we have the uh, power which is supposed to increase and decrease the amount of power you're putting out uh, in the actual wattage and also the uh, dimmer which I've used this leave this about three quarters of the way as you can see you can increase uh, the faceplate numbers light up and you know, the text lights up and also affects the light on the uh, SWR meter the SW meter so you can turn it up or down I put it about three quarters I'm you know just to have it I like the way it looks and, and uh, I, I like that feature that it has. So I'm going to do next is I'm going to do, do a quick uh, uh, attempt to get a uh, radio check. So I'm on 19. I'm usually able to reach uh, people pretty quickly. So let's see if I can get a radio check.
Brick 19 for a radio check, please. Thank you, driver. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm sure they hear plenty of people trying to get radio checks on 19 so often that uh, they probably get pretty tired of it. There's a, a lot of traffic in my part of town, in my part of the country, where I live around 23. Uh, let's go up to 23, see if they're talking now. Some of their uh, conversations get pretty vocal. They tend to all know each other, I think, so they're, we'll listen to it for just a moment. Uh, don't be offended if you hear some uh, coarse language, but I'll turn it up for a moment. You can hear it, okay? So uh, that's my short review. I've been pretty happy with it. Uh, might get an external um, speaker and maybe a power mic later on, see how that does. I've had uh, numerous contacts within uh, 10 to 12 miles of where I live and several that out to 20 miles. Uh, I have a mobile unit in my Blazer, which I uh, drove out to a distance, let my wife monitor me on this the station here and we were able to talk out uh, past uh, six miles with me and my pretty inexpensive little mobile unit a little K30 magnet mount on the on it so I'm happy that I was able to talk that far between my uh, vehicle and the base station uh, and I was we were both still able to hear each other so I'm going to probably at some point have another little experiment and see how far I can drive out and still hear the base station uh, I'm hoping that, it, of course, I've, as I said, I've had contacts out to 20 miles or more, but I don't know how exactly how that sounds. So I'm looking forward to doing some experiments, seeing how it sounds in different kinds of weather. Pretty happy with it so far, and I appreciate you watching my video. Now this is the Galaxy 9, DX979. Uh, happy with it. Look forward to uh, using it in the future. And if I have anything uh, else that I hook up to it and try it out, and I will update the videos and uh, thank you very much for watching. Good night.